in the name of Jesus Christ. The God that advanced Moses and Aaron will advance you. In every area of your life, your business, in your career, in your profession, the God that advanced Moses and Aaron will advance you. Receive forceful advancement in the name of Jesus. Please, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. This is our advancement hour. And we'll be looking at factors that make for advancement in life. Today, we want to talk on the force of creativity. The force of creativity. I want to quickly read some lines of scriptures. Second Kings chapter 7. I'll read 3 to 7. And we'll pick lessons from there. Second Kings chapter 7. Starting from verse 3. And there were four leprous men at the entering of the gates. And they said one to another, Why sit we here until we die? If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city. And we shall die there. And if we sit still here, we die also. Now therefore, come and let us fall unto the host of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall live. If they kill us, we shall but die. And they rose up in the twilight to go unto the camp of the Syrians. And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of Syria, behold, there was no man there. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of great hosts. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel had hired against all the kings of the Hittites and the kings of the Egyptians to come upon us. Wherefore, they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their asses, even the camp as it was, and fled for their life. And when the lepers came on to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink and carried then silver and gold and raiment and went and hid it and came again and entered into another tent and carried them also and went and hid it. Then they said one to another, We do no well. This day is a day of good tidings and we hold our peace. If we tarry till the morning light, some mischief will come upon us. Now, therefore, come that we may go and tell the king's household. This shall be a day of good tidings for you. Now, we know the background story here. There was famine in the land to the extent that people began to eat their children free of charge. <laughs> Until one woman decided to break the covenant. After eating with another woman, her child, he said, I won't, you won't eat my own. And there was a problem. And they came to the king. Say, king, help us. King said, there's no how I can help except God helps. And in the midst of this, Elijah spoke. The prophet of God spoke, there's going to be abundance. Now, how did the abundance come? By the ministry of lepers. Uncommon people that people never thought this can happen through. For the first time in history, the lepers had a conference. And in their conference, it was a creative conference. And they came out with a communique. If we stay here, we will die. If we enter the city, we will die. There's one mind there. If we move, okay, two options, we may die or we may succeed. And that creative step they took brought not only abundance to them, but to the city. Hallelujah. We all know the story. Now, please hear me. The world belongs to the creative. 
this world we are living in belongs to the creative. Why is it so? It was creativity founded. Genesis verse, chapter 1 verse 1 In the beginning God created. In the beginning God created. The world was founded based on creativity. Please understand for the creative there is no impossibility. Can you imagine lepers? Other people were in town, locked themselves up, but lepers were thinking possibility. To the creative, there is nothing called impossibility. To the creative, there is nothing called stagnation. Anytime you experience stagnation, is a pointer that you are not creative. Why sit we here? until we die. If you sit like this, you will die like this. Do something about your life. Be creative to find the next step out. Why must we sit like this? If we continue to sit like this, we die like this. Your life can't afford to be the way it has always been. You can't afford to remain stagnated. Why must I remain in this place? In this state? That is where it begins. And in that conference, they were able to come out with a line of action. Strategies. Creative strategies. And that was what led to the abundance that they had and the city had. These things are written for our example. To the creative, there is always a way out. To the creative, there is always progress. There is always advancement. If advancement is your goal, creativity is a vital force. What is creativity? The Encounter Dictionary of English Language defines creativity amongst other things as number one, being creative, which is the quality of being creative. Number two, Imaginative ability, which is where of focus. Imaginative ability, which is the ability to use your imagination to develop new and original ideas or things. The ability to use your imagination to develop new and original ideas or things. New or original ideas or things. There are two major things about creativity. Number one has to do with innovation. Number two, invention. Invention has to do with creating new things, bringing new things to be. Innovation has to do with redesigning or re-engineering existing things for better results or for improvement, improved outcome. Never forget this. Anytime you talk about creativity, it's either you are inventing a new thing or you are innovating what is existing. And there's nothing new in the song. There's nothing new. Most of the time people recycle ideas and fine tune it to for better results. Or bring it to their own whatever they are doing to get better results in what they are doing. Just what I call the creativity cycle. It actually starts with commitment to whatever you are doing. That's why it starts. Commitment to your task. Commitment to your assignment. Commitment to your business. Commitment to your profession. Commitment to your career. If you are committed to whatever you are doing, you will certainly begin to draw what it takes to be creative. If you are committed, you will be creative. So you move from commitment to being creative, from being creative to being productive. Because when you are creative, you begin to have productive approach to whatever you are doing. And then from being productive to advancement or to success, and it moves that way. And I see somebody moving from glory to glory. Look at Joseph. Joseph was a slave. 
But in Egypt, he had creative ideas. And that is what enthroned Joseph. Joseph became the father of crop preservation technology. How I wish we can have that idea Joseph had today to preserve crops for 14 years. That's why, just like we saw in the, when we talked about the force of discretion, Pharaoh said, in as much as no one is as wise as discreet as thou, you will be in charge of this business. Because he, had what he, he has what you call working knowledge about how to deliver the city, how to deliver the nation from hunger. Jacob was also a creative worker, a creative man. Even in a strange land, in the house of Laban, that was a wicked man. By being creative, he knew how to create any kind of animal he wanted. By what God showed to him. And by that creativity, he was able to get the strong animals to himself. And then the children of Laban began to cry. Jacob has carried everything that belonged to our father. Many a time, people have idea problem or money problem. They begin to think that everything is money. Everything is not money. Before you do, look in wars. Find out what can I do? What can I create? If you can create something new, I'm telling you where it will pursue you. Creativity most of the time brings improvement. Someone said, and I believe, I said, yeah, I don't know if change brings improvement. But he said, there is no change, there is no improvement without change. I don't know if change brings improvement. But he said, there is no improvement without change. And you cannot change except you begin to create new ways. You continue like this. If those lepers continue that way, they will die there. Hunger will kill them. But when they began to look for ways out, they were able to create a way out which brought not only deliverance to them, but to the entire city. There are people who are waiting for you. There are people who you, that are depending on you. There are people that without you, they will not fulfill destiny. Why will you waste your life, waste your destiny if you remain stagnant? When Samson taught the lion, there was honey in it. Certain things you run away from, there is food there for you. And for them, that your family members and others who depend on you. If Samson ran away from the lion, you won't get any honey to eat. You won't have honey to serve his family. Glory to God. I want you to think about something. Everything you are using now, somebody created it. The clothes you are wearing, the shoe you are wearing, the necklace you are wearing. Everything you are using that is adding comfort to your life, someone created it. Everything that is making this world more comfortable for us, someone created it. God has left us to be co-creators with him. He created you in his own likeness and his own image so that you can continue creation. Let's therefore engage the divine forces in us, inside us to make the world a better place. So it's either you are creating products or you are creating services. Help me tell you about create products or create services and the it will answer to you. Everything we are using in the world today, for instance, computer that was created, that was the father of computer, Charles Babbage, was the one that brought that to how we are enjoying that today. Aeroplane today we are enjoying. You can make, make flight easier for you, make journey easier for you created by the right brothers. Even when people say it is not possible for anything to fly on the air, any metal object to fly on the air, but they believed in impossibility. And they were able to create a airplane. Hallelujah. Electricity we are enjoying today from Mark Faraday. The internet we are enjoying now was created by somebody. Facebook was created by somebody. Cell phone was created by somebody. What are you creating? Help me ask your neighbor, what are you creating? Hallelujah. <laughs> Before this time, people used to tie water. You know the way you used to tie water? Eh? Tie it like this. Two, two cobble. One, one cobble. <laughs> Somebody created to package it in a way that people will admire it. Are, are you getting me now? Please let's begin to engage ourselves in creating new things. Dare to be different. Dare to be different. Stop 
you know, following the status quo. They have to be different. With sometimes people don't want to be creative because they don't want to leave their comfort zone. They don't want anything that will disturb their comfort. Hallelujah. If it is comfort, I won't be here this morning. I, I can't remember how many hours I've slept in the last few. If it's come, I won't be here. We left here almost eight yesterday from in the morning. Saturday, I left about 10 or so in the night. But no, you have to do something for someone to become better. Life is not a function of his duration. It's a function of his donation. Create something to donate something to your world so that they can become better. Somebody say with me, I hear. What must I do to enhance creativity? What must I do? Number one, open up to divine inspiration. Open up to what? Divine inspiration. What is inspiration? Inspiration is a knowledge that you didn't learn. <laughs> inspiration is knowledge that you did not learn. There are certain things you learn, but there are certain knowledge that God can give to you. You didn't learn it. You just come. Mm. Psalm Job 32 verse 8. There is a spirit in man. He said the inspiration of the Almighty giveth him understanding. Inspiration. And to make the best use of inspiration, I want you to be a man and a woman that carry pen. And pepper anywhere you go because inspirations can be slippery they can come and you can even come when you are driving it can come when you are sleeping it can come when you are waking up anywhere carry so that you can jot it down because sometimes it come you don't because you know it, it has fly away looking for another fertile mind <laughs> glory to god most of the inventions today they came by inspiration Certain things are disturbing the organization where you are working. They are cracking their head. But God can give you an inspiration that will solve it. And you present your paper before management. Look, I have solution to this thing that is confronting us. I'm telling you the truth. It doesn't matter your level. They will say, sit down first. If they are sacking people, they won't sack you. If they, 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 as a matter of fact, like Joseph, they can say, okay, you are in charge of this department. You are in charge of this thing. And before you know it, your level will change. Inspiration. Is vital. And the Holy Spirit is a custodian <laughs> of a distributor of inspiration. That's why you must relate with him always. Relate with the Holy Ghost. You know, he is the one that makes us of quick understanding. As I 11 verse 2. He makes you of quick understanding. Quick understanding. Quick understanding. Yeah, you can grab something in, in fraction of seconds. Understanding comes your way. And it's understanding that makes you to be outstanding. Number two, if you must enhance creativity, you must be a hunter of relevant information. Be a hunter. A hunter of what? Relevant information. I encourage everyone here. He said, don't tell me, Pastor, I've not gone to school. It doesn't matter. You can educate yourself. Read your widest. Read your widest. Read your widest. There are some people since they left school, they've not read anything. Read your widest. Hunt for information. Why? Information has a way of fertilizing the mind to make it creative. The quality of your life, the quality of decision you take is based on the information you have. Information is what brings transformation. Say, don't be conformed to this world, but by it transformed by the renewing of your mind. How will you renew your mind? By the information, things coming to your mind. You begin to unlearn certain things, you begin to learn new things, and then based on what you have learned and you have understood, you cannot take decisions or um, take steps. That's why if there are conferences, I, I want to appreciate you for being here. There are certain things you are getting here that others are not getting. If they have conferences in your area, of business or career, please attend. Pay the money. Don't say, hey, I don't know what this is. Pay money and attend. Something you can get there can feed you all the days of your life. Attend seminars. Read journals. And today, information has been made so easy through internet. You can, you can learn anything you re really want to learn about. Please, 
Hunt for information. Number three, thinking. Or if you like, call it meditation. The man that will prosper in all that he will do is also the man that will meditate on the book of the law day and night. Psalm 1, 1 to 3. Joshua 1, 8. This book of the law shall not depart from the mouth, but you shall meditate therein day and night, that you may observe what is written therein, and then you make your way prosperous. <laughs> you make your way creative, and then you have good success. Carry a positive mentality about life. Carry possibility thinking. Now listen to me. If you are born again, you have sound mind. Say with me, I have sound mind. So you need to sound this your mind to create new things. Sound it. <laughs> WK, you said, make your brain to sweat. It may pay you, but at the end of the day, it will deliver to you. Sound your mind. 2 Timothy 1 7. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but, of, but the spirit of love, of peace, and of sound mind. Sound mind. You have a sound mind. Let's engage the sound mind in creative thinking. Creative thinking. That thing confronting you, that assignment, that business, begin to go, which other way can I do? Whatever, what can I do again to make this thing better? You know. As you set yourself in that kind of thinking, you discover certain things are coming your way. Certain knowledge, understanding is coming your way. And by the time you begin to take action by such, you discover you are making progress. Many people like that, the way it has been like before, that so shall it be till Jesus comes. No. That is in Jebu Silis. In those days. Don't try it today. The 21st century. Always thank God for the result you have now. But there is a better way. There's a way to improve it. Do I know? Think again. Think again. Remember, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So think again. Which way can I make this thing better? Which way can I get better results? We are told that Isaac Newton discovered the law of gravity by thinking. When he saw the apple fall down, why did this apple not fall up? That set him thinking. It was in that thinking process that he developed the law of gravity that we are celebrating today. Why am I not selling? Why are people not coming to buy? Why am I not being promoted like others? The people that promote, what did they do to get promoted? And as you think like that, you begin to jot some things, have some action plans. After that, you discover you'll be making progress. You'll be advancing. Glory to God. Because the one that is advancing does not have two heads. The same head you have, that person has. And finally, you need faith. Say with me, faith. And one of the cheapest ways to express our faith in God is through prayer. You need faith. Faith in God. Faith in yourself. Faith in the idea that God gives you. Faith in the step that God will show to you. Faith in the plans and actions he will give you to take. Faith. You need faith. Because certain people don't take state by what God has to because they don't believe in it. They don't believe in it. They think that it's just worth it. And that's why they keep... And you know one thing with God. If God shows you what, something, if you don't take action by it, he will never show you another one. He will never show you another one. Glory to God. <laughs> you know, we are reasoning among our team of pastors... You know, we saw something here yesterday. We've never seen it since the history of this church. The crowd witnessed here yesterday. Even the number of first timers, new converts. Just small idea. We just developed, worked on it. It did more than. I told them, I said, we'll not be printing handbill again. Let's be doing food bill. <laughs> if it can work like this, there's no need to print handbill. Let's be just doing food bill. But it worked. Didn't you see it yesterday? It worked. The attendance we have never recorded since the history of this church. We recorded it yesterday. By just some. And there are some we are still working on now. Please be creative. Help me tell you, never be creative. We are going to rise on our feet now and pray. Hallelujah. We are going to rise and pray. Are you getting me now? That assignment in your hand, that thing you are doing, there is a better way. Don't tell me this is, you have not exhausted, there is still a better way. Because someone is advancing with it. Hallelujah. Our fathers are creative workers. Create, looking for a way to get. I want us to pray. Father. 
touch my head, touch my mind. You are already giving me sound mind. Not that he has already given you sound mind. Yeah, he has already given us. He, is a, is a, is a, you, he has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of sound mind. Sound mind. I have it. You already have it. Not that he will give you. You already have it. It's to engage it now. Father, empower me to engage the sound mind you are giving me. So that I can be creative in whatever I do. Pray, 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 pray. Father, I know you have given me a creative mind. A sound mind. Father, empower me to engage this sound mind. Empower me to be creative in all I do. Empower me, Father. Help me. There is a better way to live. I can't afford to sit here. If I sit here, I will die here. There is a better way forward. Empower me to be creative. By the force of the sound mind you have already given me. Thank you, Jehovah. In Jesus' glorious name. Hallelujah. Now, please, as you walk the streets, as you go to your place of work, as you move around, open your eyes. Look for needs. Look for needs. There are needs everywhere. Ask God for creative ways to solve such problems. To solve such needs. I'm telling you the truth. You, you, you are the one that be running from money. <laughs> are you getting me now? You are the one that be running from money. But I know that as you depart from here today. God will open your mind. He will show you things. He will give you inspirations. As you think. As you meditate. He will show you the way to get better results. And there shall be no more stagnation. Amen. That your turnover can be better. Amen. Thank God for what you are seeing now. But the turnover can be better. Amen. And you begin to experience better results. Amen. Be part of the justice like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter. If not to a perfect day. Begin to make progress. Amen. Begin to enjoy advancements. In the name of Jesus. Now put your hand on your head. Right now. He said, the spirit entered into me when he spoke to me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask, let the spirit of creativity that is at work in the life of Jesus find full expression in everyone here today. In the life of everyone hearing me right now. Jesus, everywhere, anyone here has been stagnated. Let there be a way out. Let there be a way out. Let there be a way out. Just like those lepers refused to die in one place. Lord God of heaven, that step that will bring abundance, that step that will bring positive results, show it to everyone here in the name of Jesus. Your mega breakthrough has just started. Your giant testimonies have started. Everything you have lost in the hand of foolish steps in the time past, I command total restoration. <laughs>